girl, what a world, what a light. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a white. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in Why Mary Jo. Joan. I'll be right down, dear. Oh, she'll be here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Well, we uh, have $150,000 pledged so far. Now, since the chemistry building is going to cost a quarter of a million, that means uh, approximately 100000 still to be raised. Well, let's see. The wealthiest alumnus is Calvin J. Huntington. Now, if we could find a way to approach him, he might have whole $100,000. Well, that's entirely conceivable. But Mr. Huntington doesn't part with money without being shown a very good reason. <laughs> yeah, good reason. <laughs> You know, maybe if we actually showed him that old chemistry building and, and he saw how antiquated and dilapidated it was... Excellent idea. A tour of the chemistry building. I think it should work. Fred! I found it! <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I used to wear it rain or shine, darling, no. and if you didn't have a raccoon coat in those days, you were just nobody. No. Oh, Sandy, Oh, no, just... <laughs> <laughs> Must be a Harvard man. <laughs> yes, you see, it's, ever since my wife's sister has gone to college, it's, uh, it's been... <laughs> you know, this is the financial committee. For heaven's sake, try and be dignified. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, yes, this is uh, Mr. Darty, Mr. Patterson. This is my uh, wife. I'm delighted. I'm charmed. I'm Joan. <laughs> I mean, I'm awfully happy to, to know you both, really. Yes, well, Joan, uh, don't you want to take off your coat, dear? No, I think I'd rather wear it, right? <laughs> no, well, dear, it isn't exactly in style any longer, honey. I know, but I'd rather wear it, Brad. Uh, dear, will you take the coat off, please? <laughs> <laughs> See, I've got an invitation to a, a come-as-you-are party, <laughs> and that's where I was. Uh, look, so I thought... Yes, Joan, won't you uh, get our... Get some refreshments, oh, please. Of course Here, I will. Yeah. There. I mean, it's, it's, she's a, it is, it's, a, it's a, with the young... Uh, getting back to our problem, suppose Mr. Huntington refuses to contribute. Oh, well, yes, yes, there, there is that, there is a possibility. I, well, uh, we'll just have to raise the money some other way. <laughs> well, say, how about a raffle? You know, my club made $93 last year, and all it cost us was the price of a turkey. <laughs> oh, you don't want a raffle? You could have a, uh, chocolate? No, thank you. Uh, how about you, Mr. Patterson? Well, thank you, no. I'm dieting. Really? I never would have believed it. I mean, nobody would believe you needed it. <laughs> yes, well, now, uh, let's get back to uh, raising the money. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we could get a state grant. Or, a. Uh, Perhaps some federal funds. I've got it. You could have a bazaar. That would do the trick, really. Uh, honey, you could bake some cakes, and you could be in charge of the bingo game, and we'll have a kissing booth. I'll be in it, and we'll charge the men a dollar apiece to kiss me. Fifty cents? Quarter? <laughs> Slug? I'm sure your suggestions have merit in their way, but we have to raise $100,000 for the university. That much? Oh, then there's only one thing to do. Cut the salary to the football team. Judge Stevens! Perhaps we had better continue this discussion at a future time. Oh, yes, yes. yes that's, good night. Yes. Oh, oh, good night. Good dear. night. Oh, good night. There you are. Okay, and if I, if I get any more ideas, well, I'll tell him to Brad and he can tell them to you. Please do. Yes. Good night. Good night. Joan, all I want you to tell me is that you've forgotten all about this nonsense and you realize that you're not a college girl anymore. Oh, Mr. Oh, embarrassing me in, in, in front of the committee in, in, in that ridiculous get-up. Oh, Fred, you didn't talk about that outfit this way when, you, when I was in college. But it wasn't outdated when we were in college. A midi blouse. Don't you realize that Bloomer Girls went out with Coolidge? Well, he probably had a very fine time. Funny treats could do for you, Bradley J. Stevens. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Wow, those college men are getting worse every year. And you were afraid you wouldn't even get one. Don't be silly, Joni. You know if they were men, I wouldn't be running. Those are girls. Sophomores. Don't tell me it's hazing week already. That's right. They make us freshmen wear these outfits. And whoever wears one is a marked woman. <sighs> Gee, I hope they didn't see me come in here. Oh, Beverly, I'm surprised that you're afraid of the sophomores. It's all good, clean fun. Good, clean fun, she says. They took one of my classmates and threw her into the fountain. So what? Lots of college students have been thrown into fountains. From a second-story window? <laughs> and you kids nowadays are just softies. We are not. Look, honey, you can believe me. Hazing is all in fun. And it's the most fun to the so-called victim. Oh, sure. I mean it. If I could do it, I'd sure like to go through my college days again. <laughs> yeah, especially initiation. <laughs> So I'd better go upstairs, clean up, and do some studying. I've been so busy dodging sophomores, I haven't opened a book. <laughs> you haven't hung up your clothes, either. Oh, well. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I told you I saw one go into this house. Oh, you must be the girls' ping pong team. I want to get my sister. Oh, we don't want your sister. We just want you. But I'll take it. Hold it. We don't want to ruin this freshman. At least not right here. Oh, freshman. Uh, then you want my sister. Look, we told you. We don't want your sister. We want you. But you don't understand. You got the wrong freshman. I mean, girl, you are so scared you'll say anything. I oh, know I can prove it. Look, excuse me. Oh, sis, come on down here, will you, dear? Okay. See? What's up, I... Uh-oh. Uh, they're looking for the freshman who lives in this house. Let's see. 133 Stone Drive. This is it. You're Beverly and don't deny it. No, I'm not Beverly. That's Beverly. Aren't you Beverly? What did you say, Beverly? <laughs> huh? I... So come on. Beverly. Now, wait a minute. You can't do this to me, dear. Tell them. But Beverly, you said yourself, hazing is fun. Oh, yes. Dear. Especially to the so-called victim. Oh, yes. In fact, you were just wishing you could be initiated. But she really was. Well, her wish is coming true. Get gone. Why, you traitor, this is the biggest double cross since Benedict betrayed Arnold. <laughs> Get moving, Beverly. I told you I'm not a freshman, and my name is not Beverly. But I like you, girl. I'll do anything you say. Come on, move. Sit here. Uh, couldn't I just stand here? You know, you girls have been awfully free with those paddles. Up on the stool, Frosh. Anything you say. I like you, girl. <laughs> Now look that way and don't turn around. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? Well, not exactly. But I'm sure it'll be something clever and intelligent. Because after all, you're college girls and you certainly know better than we're to hide me. We're going to carve our initials in your back. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I didn't think that you'd do anything that would... You know what I thought you said? I thought you said you're going to carve your initials in my back. Imagine me thinking that. We're going to carve our initials in your back. Take off that blazer. The blazer? Take it off. We just want to carve our initials in your back. We don't like to destroy clothing. <laughs> well, sure, take it off. It doesn't belong to me anyway. It belongs to my sister, Beverly. You see, my real name is Jones. <laughs> you can call me Beverly for short. Then he gets a knife. The sharp knife or the dull knife? The dull one. We want this one to suffer. Okay, girls. I can go along with a gag. 
You want to carve your initials in my back? Go ahead and start carving. Oh, Sam, while you're at it, we can hard to get a burger dress. Good. Where does she feel this ice it's in her back? I swear it's the knife. Yeah, yeah, let's see how big she is then. Well, come on, girls. Get going. Let's start carving it up. <laughs> because, well, if you think for one minute that I'd believe that you'd use a real knife, you're sadly mistaken. Okay, <laughs> Dottie. Do your stuff. You see, I, I'm not a teenage kid. That's why I'm just cool, calm. <laughs> It's an ice cube you used, huh? <laughs> I'm just wet, that's all. Well, that was a very funny bit. <laughs> Grab her, Denny. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, don't pick on a little kid like me. Oh. Hey, this way, come on. Coming, she ducked into the locker room. I saw her too. She's in here somewhere. Well, let's go find her. <laughs> see, did you see a freshman girl around here? Nope, can't say I have. Sorry, girls. Hey, isn't that funny? That baseball player's slip is showing. Slip? <laughs> Yeah, that's where she got the baseball out there. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to search them all. Jenny, you take that aisle over there. Okay. Dottie, you and I will work down here. Come on. Okay. Oh, excuse me. But have you seen a baseball player around here with his slip showing? Oh, can't say that I have. Sorry, girl. <laughs> Should have used a Notre Dame ship. <laughs> okay, girls, everything's ready. Bring her in. Now, look, girls, I'm telling you for the last time, I'm not a freshman, and my name is Beverly. You're right. You may be telling us for the last time. And now for the CH-1206. Oh, no, not the CH-1206. But we had that plan for the freshman president. Oh, too terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too terrible. I can't even bear to watch. Look, kids, there's no sense in wasting this on me. I, I'm not scared a bit. So why don't you save this gag for the freshman president? And now, one full ounce of CH-1206. I like it strong. Let's fill her up, huh? Do you realize that this is freshman? Why, sure, it's some kind of harmless drink that you're trying to frighten me with. Listen closely, freshman. This liquid turns people into apes. Oh, you mean I can become a gorilla? This is a glass of ape potion. Oh, ape juice. <laughs> well, let me drink it and get it over with so we can all go home, huh? A pretty big potion of potion. <laughs> well, on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Say, it's not bad, though, girls. Maybe you could put this stuff on the market as the uh, eight potion cola. Or you could put it out in low calorie form uh, for people who want to become apes but who just don't want to be fat apes. <laughs> or say you might sell it in powder form. Instant ape potion. <laughs> well, I guess that concludes my initiation. And now, girls, so we can all go home now. What's the matter? Oh, it's horrible. We never should have done it. Oh, we'll be expelled from school. I get it. I look like an ape, huh? Oh, the worst of the ape we've ever created. Oh, cut it out now. <laughs> Listen, I've been trying to tell you, kids, I I'm much too sensible, dear, you see, to fall for any gag like this. <laughs> ape potion turn people. I look like an awful ape, huh? Don't believe me, dear. Yes, I'm getting the mask on. I can't be fun and everything, but I don't go for a little bit. Well, if you don't believe me, look in the mirror. It's already started to work on your head. It has on my head. <laughs> okay, honey, I'll satisfy you. <laughs> I'd be a monkey's uncle. And I think I am. Long enough. Let's give her the antidote right away. Yeah, give it to me right away, please. Freshman, this is the only uh, bottle of anti ape potion in existence. Drink this. Oh, give it to me. Oh, no, my bottle of anti Oh, God, you shouldn't do this to me. A thing like this could ruin my marriage. Oh, come on, come on. Get out of here. Get out of This equipment is outmoded. It's uh, certainly inefficient. It's, it's antiquated. It's... Johnny! Johnny, what a... Johnny, what's happened? Oh, Brad, it's awful. They mistook me for family. I didn't think they could Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Huntington, uh, this is my wife, Joan. Joan. How can you introduce me to anybody at a time like this? Huh? Oh, Brad, divorce me. Send me to a zoo or even back to Africa. I don't care. Uh, well, uh, look, uh, will you uh, take Mr. Huntington show him the rest of the laboratory? I want a few words with my wife, Mr. Huntington. You'll excuse me. Joanie. Tony, what on the... What is this all about? Oh, you don't have to pretend, Brad. I know I'm an ape. An ape? <laughs> oh, yes. The, the girls made me drink this ape potion and then my bottle of anti-ape Oh, potion. no, so, honey. Oh, well, You mean to say you fell for that initiation bunk? Yeah, well, I thought it was bunk at first, too, and then they showed me in the mirror. And, uh, well, honey, honey, you better take another look in that mirror, don't you yes. think, huh? Oh, I now, know. come on, dear. <laughs> I'm a walrus. Oh, what a horrible face. Horrible face, Joni. Joni, that's Mr. Huntington. Build a new chemistry building, huh? Why, I wouldn't donate the money for a doghouse now. Let me up. Well, Joan, I hope you're satisfied with what you've done. Well, Brad, I... You ruined our chance of getting the $100,000, a new chemistry building. How could you do anything so idiotic, so, so stupid, so moronic? Well, you don't have to be a baboon to be a goon. Well, it it helps. Helps. <laughs> 
They made her drink this ape potion, and then they convinced her that it worked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we used to do the same sort of stunts when I went to college. Uh, I'll bet they just put sugar in there. <laughs> that's what we always use. Yep, that's what it is, sugar. They don't tell me that you're afraid to drink that ape potion. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Look, I can't get you. Uh, you know, one thing I can't figure out is how they convinced your wife that the stuff really worked. Oh, well, they made her look in that mirror over there on the wall, a potion cold. Come on, take a look. I can't see how any full-grown person would really fall for anything. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Why did you let me drink this stuff? Oh, it's let it. well, do something. I'd give anything to get rid of that. Even a new chemistry. Two oh, new chemistry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I felt more just the same way you did, Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> well, it certainly was easy after you drink that egg, <laughs> It sure is. Oh, what a relief. Well, now, uh, Mr. Huntington, how about that new chemistry building? Uh, two chemistry buildings, he promised. No, honey, I, I think that we'd better settle for one. Well, I'm sure we can work something out, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to run now. Goodbye, Mr. Judge. Huntington. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens? Joni, how can I ever thank you for your part in all this? Oh, just get me a big ripe banana and a bag of peanuts. <laughs> Lover, Tonight's cast were Beverly Wills, Marjorie Bennett, Don Beddow, Tyler McVeigh, Eleanor Tannen, Diane Ware, and Janice Carroll. Can you